What's up everybody, JC here back with another video. We are back with the third video of the little um, Nike haul, if you will, that we got in hand earlier this week. Um, this is the second like in-depth review, unboxing, um, whatever you want to call it, of a sneaker. The first video was of the LeBron 16, the multicolor, 20 for 20, whatever you want to call it, um, that I did that. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. Um, but this is the second shoe, like I said, in the shirt, third shoe is the Platinum Tint that I will do um, post after this video. Um, so, like I said, I have, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, I've said this a lot on the channel, but I am not the biggest fan of foam posits. Um, I have a pretty big foot, 13, 14. Um, so when you get foam posits that big, to me, they just look like, um, like boats. And I'm just, I mean, it's a cool shoe, it's a cool idea, it's a cool concept. Um, I know they go, they're pretty pricey. Um, at $230 retail, I believe. Um, and I know there's a lot of colorways out there that are just ridiculous. The galaxies, the, uh, whatever the Halloween paranormans, all that stuff. Um, but to me, I'm just not a big fan of the shoe. Um, these are not for me personally. Um, they are for a buddy of mine. Um, so just doing a little review on them cause they were a re recent release. Um, one thing I will say is I'm a way bigger fan of the colorway in person than I was um, when I was ordering them online. They look super red. Um, I just thought they were going to be like another red pair of foams. Um, but they're just, um, I don't even know how you would call this, but it's just, it literally like a habanero, like an orangish, reddish, chili um, with the like green hints, the fluorescent or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm a really big fan of the colorway. Um, I mean, if I liked them and I feel, if I felt like I could pull it off, this is a colorway I love. Um, cause it just pops. Um, but like I said, I just, I don't think I can pull them off. I think they look pretty big on me. Um, on my feet, they look like boats. Um, but it's just the typical, um, foam posit, um, you know, silhouette. You got the penny sign on the back, penny sign on the tongue, um, carbon fiber on the inner and outer, um, and bottom of the sole with the suede, um, kind of whatever you call it, upper sole, upper suede, upper. Um, so, I mean, typical, uh, a lot of people wear these for kind of lifestyle and stuff like that, but I have seen people wear them to hoop in. Um, so I'm not really sure how they play as a basketball shoe. To me, they are pretty bulky and stuff, and it kind of looks kind of goofy when people wear it for basketball. But I love this colorway, and if you are a big fan of phones, I highly suggest buying this shoe because this colorway is pretty, um, pretty awesome compared to the colors I've seen um, where it's just like a, the royal blue ones and... Um, the eggplant stuff like that. This is definitely my favorite general release foam posit, um, kind of non-hype foam posit that I have seen in a very long time. Box is typical, C size 13. Um, got the you know the typical black Nike box. Um, but this shoe, if I was a fan of, um, I would love this colorway. So like I said, if you're a big fan of foam posits, um, I would I would highly 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 suggest getting this colorway. Um, I think you could probably get them for under retail by now. Uh, they did release a few days ago, um, and I'm sure if you go on Goat or StockX, you'll be able to get them for you know $10, 20 dollars off retail, um, and there's no tax on any of those apps. It's just like ten dollars for shipping or whatever. So, like I said, uh, let me know what you guys think about these. I'm not a big fan of uh, foams. Um, what do you guys think about this colorway? Because to me, I've always been a fan of like that kind of orangish reddish. Um, color like it's not even it's like a burnt orange at some points and then it's like a red at other points so I don't know I'm a big fan of it um, that's the one thing I'll say about this um, shoe right now is that the colorway is to me is amazing um, but other than that I mean the silhouette is just to me it's just I don't know it's just too much it's too blocky too bulky too big um, so I know a lot of people love this shoe love foam posits um, so nothing against that because I think it is a really cool shoe um, and I think a lot of people are able to pull it off um, and a lot of people do like it um, Just not a shoe for me. Um, I'm more of like the sleek runner type like even I mean My 11s. I have the bread 11s face down 11s top three ones uh, Bread ones Chicago ones these babies I Have these all in my collection um, and I have yet to wear them just because I'm more of like a runner guy and you know the shoes that I do wear are this you know I wear these more than I wear my shattered backboard and these are $60 NMDs just because that's 
kind of the style I'm in right now. I mean, it's not even the comfort. It's more of just the, the you know, the, the sleek runners um, that has been in for a little while. So this kind of falls in the same category as Jordan's as being kind of big, bulky, and stuff like that. Um, and I do have shoes like this in my collection um, just because I do like how the shoe looks. Um, but sometimes I question if I can pull it off. So let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about the foam posit shoe in general. Um, I do love this colorway. So like I said, I highly, highly suggest if you are a fan of foam posits, go out and get this shoe. Um, because yes, it's going to cost you 200, 220 bucks. Um, but for a foam posit, you know, like I said, retails like 230, 250 sometimes. Um, and then if that shoe has resale, then you're paying more than that. So a good foam posit you can get for under retail. Um, and I love this colorway. Um, so that's about it on this shoe. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen my LeBron, uh, review, go check that out. Um, and also I'm looking for kind of how that shoe plays. Um, so go check that video out. Um, go comment. I kind of talk about it a little bit in the video. Um, and let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Um, I love this colorway. Um, what colors do you guys like better than this one? Or do you guys think this is a pretty good colorway out of the GR foam pods that have came out in the last couple of years? Um, so with that, that is about it for this video. And we have one more video review up. Um, and it'll be the Jordan 11s, the Platinum Tints that came out last week. Um, and that'll be the last of this little haul. Just trying to get back into the swing of things, like I said. We're going to be buying way more often. But for me, I don't know if it would be buying to keep. It's going to be more buying, buying and getting rid of pretty quick. Um, or whenever one of my buddies or, or my brother or whatever the case may be, whenever they want to buy a shoe, I'll ask them if they can buy them. If they can buy them through me, ship them to me first. Um, I do my little review um, just so we can have content coming out um, pretty consistently. So I'll get you guys updated on that. Like I said, we got one more video um, coming up with the Jordan 11s. Pay attention to that. I'm going to probably upload the day after this video uploads. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep supporting. Do what you guys are doing. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.